Hello everyone, welcome back to my artistic and spiritual workshop. Today we're going to talk about a few different things regarding toxicity and how it affects the mind, body, and spirit, and what to do about those things, the mistakes I've made in regards to those things, and what you can do to correct it. First, we're going to jump into talking about toxic habits. I myself am guilty of having toxic habits and having to correct them and do different things to make it better. I recently, uh, well, maybe a couple months ago, started a brand new journey um, in health. Not just weight loss, but making my body stronger, correcting my course, my balance is better, and just overall taking care of my body, my sleep. I mean, I hope the whole gamut of things. I never get more than like three, four hours of sleep at night. I make sure now I get about six and a half hours. So I've corrected that bad habit. One major key factor of bad habit for me that was causing a lot of toxicity when it comes to my body was my health. The food I eat and different things of that nature, the things that I drink were definitely having a huge impact on my health. I'm very overweight. I've thus far since I started this journey lost 25 pounds. I'm very excited about that. I've dropped my fat percentage in my body uh, um, about 4% thus far, which is a big deal. Um, and I'm just doing different things to correct that. I did hire a team of people that include a personal trainer and um, people who know things about nutrition and macros and all that stuff. And I'm definitely learning a lot. And a lot of people, when it comes to the body, um, I'm no expert by any means. I am like in baby steps when it comes to taking care of yourself the proper way. Um, but even as an athlete, when I was younger, I played basketball, volleyball. I'm a second degree black belt in addition to karate. Although you wouldn't know it to look at me today. Um, I've had injuries from sports and all that stuff like that. I never, ever learned the proper nutrition, the proper way to eat. I would just ate whatever I want because I was so active. Then by my mid twenties, um, I have rheumatoid arthritis and fibromyalgia, and now I've developed osteoarthritis well. The osteoarthritis is in direct correlation to my weight, but the rheumatoid and fibromyalgia was just something that, the you know, there's, the science is still out on that, why we end up with it. Some say it's genetic, some say there's other causes, but ultimately in my mid-20s, I was diagnosed with that, became extremely ill with them trying to figure out what to do, how to do, and so on and so forth. I gained a shit ton of weight, and I've done the yo-yo -yo dieting since. And the reason it's never worked for me is because I never really truly understood nutrition or food or anything like that. So I am in the process of learning. Like I said, I've, I'm working with a great team of people that are just phenomenal teaching me and showing me how to exercise and, and do different things. And like I've said, in, in approximately two months, I've lost 25 pounds. Now that does sound rather quick, but due to my size already and just the drastic change in my lifestyle, style and my diet the weight will fall off fairly quickly in the beginning but then it will uh level out and i'll probably lose anywhere like one to three pounds approximation a week when it finally levels out but it's getting through that process so that's one thing that i wanted to touch on in regards to taking care of the mind body and spirit the body is an important key factor in those i always take care of my mental i always take care of my spirit but for years now i've neglected neglected my body and that was definitely something i had to correct in regards to my paranormal and spiritual work because a lot of people don't really connect those factors when it comes to doing spiritual and paranormal work but taking care of your body is just important one thing I can say is when I'm investigating locations, I mean, these lo locations are not always easily accessible. You have to hike miles through the woods or you're going to, you know, um, locations that are abandoned out in the middle of nowhere. The road will only take you so far and then you have to walk the rest of the way. You know, if we're talking about an abandoned asylum or something, usually these asylums have anywhere from three to six, seven, nine floors. 
and you're climbing stairs to get to the upper levels, the upper floors of that building. And I was finding it was becoming very difficult and having a direct impact on my paranormal work when it came to investigating the location itself. So that was definitely something I had to correct and I'm taking the steps to do so. And I'm quite proud of it. Um, for the first time, I've done it twice now. Uh, I started going a mile and a half, then three miles, and now I'm up to five miles cycling on my bike and really enjoying it. I feel so strong and empowered when I'm done with those five miles. It's actually one of my favorite ways to exercise is just getting on my bike and going. I love being outside in the sun and mother nature. So that's a very important key factor. So. When it comes to the mind, body, and spirit, the body is an extremely important factor of those. You should definitely take care of it. Okay, so we've talked about toxic habits. Now we're going to have to talk about toxic people and toxic situations in your life and the direct correlation to having an effect on your mind and spirit when it comes to spiritual and paranormal work. Unfortunately, this is a, a personal story time that's prompted my weight loss and health journey, plus this several situations that have taken place over the last handful of months had really prompted me to analyze those three key aspects, the mind, body, and spirit in my life and what I do to take care of them. And through my ritual work, I do ritual work for others and spiritual work and paranormal work. Obviously, when I'm investigating residential homes and paranormal clients that I have, but all too often we tend to take care of others and not really do some self-reflection and take care of ourselves. And that was one thing I had been the last couple of months at my altar in ritual and meditation talking to my spirit guides and universe and asking them for guidance. I was feeling so bogged down, so tired, my energy drained. Now, of course, my habits when it comes to food and stuff like that had to do with that. But another key factor was situations in my life and people in my life that were just so toxic. And unfortunately, when we ask our spirit guides for answers, we may not like always like the answers they give us. And I definitely went through a bit of that. They were screaming the signs at me like, look at this, you know the answers, you know what you need to do, but I ignored it. Part of the reason I ignored it is because some of these individuals and situations that I had to remove from my life ultimately I had a great deal of passion for. There were people I loved and cared for that were just not good for me. And of course, when we love and care for rather people or projects or situations that we're in, we will be blinded by that love and care that we have. And that's okay. We are human, we make mistakes. You can't really beat yourself up too bad about it. But I definitely was having an issue and I didn't want to listen to my spirit guides. I didn't want to listen to the universe showing me signs that what was going on was indeed wrong. And it took a while for me to see that. I had had certain business dealings and certain people in my life that I had a great deal of passion about, cared for, loved had known for you know a handful of years certain projects I'd been working on for a couple of years and I'm not a quitter so that's another thing that it's good to not be a quitter but in that same breath you also have to know when to walk away and walking away from toxic people or toxic habits or toxic situations does not make you less than it doesn't make you oh I'm a quitter since I walked away from that situation and that's a little bit of what my mental was when it comes to you know taking care of the mind and the spirit my mental was like you don't quit you can't quit but ultimately I knew that I needed to and a certain situation had presented itself that showed its true colors and people showing their true colors and I although it hurt and I'm not too big to admit I had cried over it I lost a little bit of sleep 
but I had to walk away. And I tell you what, the benefits I have received from walking away from toxic business, toxic people, toxic situations has definitely made a profound difference on how I feel and how I do things in my spiritual work, my paranormal work. One thing I've learned through this entire situation is that when I'm doing spirit communication or magical rituals or communication rituals and things of that nature, I had noticed that my connection with the spirit realm had, had become quite cloudy and I really couldn't put my finger on it. That was one of the reasons I was looking to my spirit guides asking, what is going on? What have I done wrong? And of course, we hold the responsibility in this. Although it was other people affecting me, I was allowing those other people to affect me. And that is 100% on me. So don't misjudge that when you know you have toxicity, toxicity in your life, you hold responsibility to that toxicity. But anyways, I digress. I could tell that my communication was clouded. When I'm building up my energy and spiritual work and meditation and ritual, I could tell it wasn't at such a high vibration as I normally like it at, as it normally would be. And I really couldn't quite put my finger on why, what is going on? So when the spirit guides are screaming these answers at me and I'm trying to ignore them <laughs> because I, I like I said, I have a great deal of passion for some of the things I was doing, but ultimately they were very toxic and very damaging to my person when it comes to the mind, body, and spirit. So I had to walk away. And like I stated earlier, the benefits have been much better than staying in that situation. I have never been more clear-minded in my goals in life and the direction I'm heading when it comes to walking down my spiritual path as a witch, as an occultist, it like pulled, you know, we always talk about the thinning veil and the veil. That veil became so thin when I started taking care of my mind, body, and spirit as a whole, it was profound. I was like, holy shit, have I, this is, I'm getting in my own way. <laughs> I 100% am getting in my own way. And I realized after making these, and it took a few months to do so. Like I said, I've been on my health journey, taking care of my body for a few months. I had to clear out the toxic people and toxic situations. That too took a few months and some, you know, days of being upset and crying and just feeling completely drained from the drama. But when I got to the other side of that bridge, when I, you know, because it, it takes time. When I got to the other side of that bridge and had taken these steps that were so necessary to take, how I feel now is so empowering. I feel strong. I feel clear-minded. I feel emboldened to myself. And there's nothing wrong with that. Yes, there is a fine line between being um, so into self that you forget to look beyond yourself and care about the people and situations around you. So don't do that. Don't take it to an extreme. There definitely should be a balance. And ultimately too, I know it's easy to say, get rid of toxic people and toxic situations. Life is life. You know, if you're going into your job and you got a few toxic people there, it's not as if you can just up and quit your job. But do the best you can to try to keep yourself out of those type of situations and away from those type of people because it will have a direct effect on your paranormal and spiritual work. And that is definitely a profound lesson I've learned over the last couple of months on how important it is to take care of all those factors to not be blinded by love and care that you have for people because ultimately when it comes to relationships rather it's a friendship it's a family member it's a business relationship you know acquaintances relationships are don't worry about that noise my cats want in right now but i always have to lock them out of my bedroom when i'm filming because they love to run around and be chaotic and knock stuff over so i got my tripod up and that's what you're hearing the point i was trying to make before i was interrupted by my adorable fur babies is that relationships are about mutual respect it's definitely a two-way street so if you find yourself in a relationship that is one-sided and has become very toxic to yourself, it's definitely important for you to remove yourself from that relationship. And yes, it may hurt. 
you may not want to take those steps because we love and care for people and there's nothing wrong with that. But as soon as it becomes detrimental, either to yourself, your business, your well-being, or anything of that nature, it's definitely time to move on. And back to our regular scheduled program. And, but anyway, what was I saying? Oh yes, you have to, you know, make sure that you take care of yourself. You know, these things matter and they will have a direct effect on your paranormal and spiritual work. And like I said, that's an important lesson I've learned and one I am so truly grateful for. I'm still on that journey. I'm still going through the steps that are needed to 100% find a balance between my mind, body, and spirit and the real world. Because like I said, we all live in the real world. These things I'm saying are definitely easier said than done. But if you are truly trying to find that balance, truly trying to find peace in life, you will pay attention to these things. And taking care of your mind, your body, and spirit are all equally important. It's not more important to take care of the mental or the body or the spirit over the mental or any combination of those things. They're all equally important. And when you start getting to that stage where you found the balance and you're truly taking care of those factors in your life, the rewards are very beneficial. I wake up every morning with energy and in a state of peace, which is kind of profound to me. When I get up in the morning, I have, you know, I average about six and a half hours of sleep, which I touched on, which is a good amount of sleep for me. That is right around my sweet spot where I don't feel exhausted anymore. I'm not in as much pain regarding my arthritis um, when I get up. I'm just feeling so good with, and I'm ready to start the day. Like I'm ready to get my work done. Rather, it's our, my artistic work, my paranormal work, my spiritual work. I am ready to dive head first, straight in. I wake up in the morning, I do some stretching, I eat my breakfast. I'm paying attention to the food, the health, my spiritual, my meditation. I'm doing all of that and making sure it's an important factor, but finding a balance at the same time. And so that's just something I wanted to talk on. I've noticed um, I've been getting a lot of questions from my paranormal clients, spiritual clients, and that sort of thing. Even friends and family when it comes to taking care of your mind and spirit. And I always kind of left the body one out when talking to people because I don't really know much about that. Like I said, I'm learning and I'm definitely picking up that information. I am no expert by any stretch of the imagination, but I have definitely learned over the last couple of months that all three matter. All three will have a direct effect on one another and you have to take care of them. So that's the lesson for today from personal experience. Make sure you take care of your mind, body, and spirit because it is extremely important that you do so. And it is not being selfish in doing so. And if you truly love yourself, which we all should, you will take care of these things. So peace, love, happiness. Make sure you take care of one another and I'll talk to you soon.